Here are my NFL 2022 season predictions, and I'm a Bengals fan, so I'm still going to try to be biased here. So here we go right now. Let's do this. So first of all, we are going to do all 32 teams. So if you like your team, your team is going to be on here. We got 15 to 17 wins, which is the highest one. Then we got 13 to 14 wins. Then we got 10 to 12 wins, 7 to 9 wins, 4 to 6 wins, and 1 to 3 wins. Okay, so first of all... I'm going to just go with the Washington Commanders. I still feel like the team is falling apart. They're not really, like, they're not really healed yet. You know what I mean? After the Kirk Cousins left, RG3 left, all of that. They're still not good, but I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them four to six wins, okay? I'm going to give them four to six wins. And then, let's see here. Next, next up, I'm going to go with the Titans. Okay, so Titans are a really, really good team. If Derrick Henry can stay healthy, he's easily a top five running back in the league. So I'm going to give them, the Tennessee Titans, let's go 10 to 12 wins. 10 to 12 wins because, I don't know, like, it's, they got to stay healthy. But they're a good team. I love their jerseys, by the way. Next up, we got the Buccaneers. I like Tom Brady. I'm a Tom Brady guy. But I just don't know if he's got it in him this year. All he's got is Evans as the wide receiver. Genevi Bernard is the running back. I'm going to give them 13 to 14 wins. I'm going to give the Buccaneers 13 to 14 wins. Still pretty good, though. Next up, we got the Seahawks. Oh, my gosh. No more Russell Wilson. DK Metcalf. But, I mean, he's all right. But, I mean, who's going to throw him the ball? So, I'm going to give the Seahawks 7 to 9 wins. 7 to 9 wins for the Seahawks here. Next up, we got the Steelers. No more Big Ben. They just got Trubisky, I think that's his name, Mike Mitchell Trubisky or whatever his name is. So I'm going to give the Steelers 7 to 9 wins. I'll give them 7 to 9 wins, okay? Next up, we got the Jets. CJ Uzamba did the Bengals, went to the Jets. Uh, Jones is there. Uh, that's it. I mean, they, they, they got Sauce Gardner from Cincinnati, but he's a safety, so we can't really do much. So I'm going to give them four to six wins. I'll give them four to six wins. Next up, we got San Francisco. So I heard that they're trying to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo. So honestly, Jimmy Garoppolo, what, got them like two, went to two Super Bowl appearances, maybe three. But since Jimmy's going to be leaving, I'm going to give them also four to six wins as well. Just because Jimmy's leaving. If Jimmy was staying, I would say seven to nine wins easily. But George, George Kittle is good, but I mean, who... It's like I'm saying, like, who is going to throw George Kittle the ball? Like, you can have an amazing tight end, but, I mean, who's going to throw that tight end the ball? All right, next up, we – I'm going to do – we're going to do the Jaguars here. So, Trevor Lawrence, Jaguars are kind of still in a rebuilding phase. We're just going to give them four to six. Not much to talk about because there's not much there, really. And then we got the Arizona Cardinals for Kyle Murray. He's a pretty good team. I don't know. I'm going to get – and AJ Green's on there. I'm going to give them – Seven to nine wins. Seven to nine wins, all right? And then we got the Buffalo Bills. My Cincinnati Bengals just beat the Buffalo Bills last season to go to play the Chiefs. I'm going to give Bills 13 to 14 wins. Josh Allen is really good. Stephon Diggs is really good. I don't dislike the Bills. I don't hate the Bills. I don't dislike them. They're a good team. Good team. Next up, we got the Chargers. They just signed another good defense. I'm going to give the Chargers 10 to 12 wins. No, uh, Justin Herbert's pretty good. Herbert's pretty good, I think. And then we got the defending Super Bowl champions. I'm going to give them 13 to 14 wins. And I don't... I just don't... I can't believe how, like, NFL teams can have so much money. Like, I feel like the L.A. Like, all the L.A. teams in any sport are, like, just all-star teams. It's crazy. Next up, we have... We're going to do the Panthers, Panthers here. We got Cam Newton, Baker Mayfield. I'm going to give them four to six wins. Nothing really spectacular about them right now. Because they're, they still don't know who their starting quarterback is. Next up, I'm going to go Green Bay. I don't know. I think Aaron Rodgers could really spark this year. Aaron Rodgers could really spark this year because he wants. He said he wants one more Super Bowl. But, I mean, doesn't everybody? I'm going to give Green Bay 15 to 17 wins. Because I always feel like Green Bay is a dominant team. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put the Bucks up there too. Because I always feel like Green Bay is such a dominant team all the time. Next up, we got the Vikings. The Vikings are always usually good. They always miss a wild card game by maybe one or two games. Kirk Cousins, we got Jefferson, nothing. I mean, good good duo. They just got to be clicking. I'm going to give the Vikings seven to nine wins. Seven to nine wins. 
And then I'm going to go with Miami. Oh, my gosh. Miami, dude. I think Miami could be a sparky team this year. They're going to be good. They're going to be good. Tyreek Hill. I'm going to give Miami seven to nine wins. Seven to nine wins. Falcons, I don't even know if they have a good team this year. I'm going to give them one to three. One to three wins for the Falcons because, I mean, um, nothing good. And then I also forgot Arizona's got uh, J.J. Watt as well. I don't know. It could be, could be good defense there. All right, next up, we're going to go with the Giants. Giants, they're not bad. They got If Barkley does good, uh, I'm going to give Giants... I'm going to give Giants four to six wins. Barkley's pretty good. Um, oh, and Carolina does have a good running back, though. They got uh, Christian McCaffrey. Four to six wins, though, is so long to say, because Christian McCaffrey gets hurt. He's been hurt like four out of five times of the year, and he always says, I'm feeling the best, and he never really doesn't get hurt. Next up, we got the Saints. Saints are kind of still, they don't know who's starting. They got Jameis Winston, Andy Dalton. They got, they got Trevor, Trevor Simeon, I think is his name. So I'm going to give the Saints, let's go seven to nine. Seven to nine. It's the Saints. They're not bad. Saints, seven to nine. Next up, we got the Bears. Bears are still kind of rebuilding with fields there. They got Montgomery. They have a, uh, Robinson as well. I'm going to give Bears, I'm going to give them four to six, but I'm, I'm saying like, Six, like five to six wins is what I'm saying. Next up, we got the Cowboys. We got we got Ezekiel Elliott. We got Dak. I'm gonna give Cowboys ten to twelve wins. Yep, ten to twelve wins, pretty fair. And then we got the Ravens. Oh, dude, this Ravens team is scary, dude. They get scarier every year. And the the thing is, I feel like the Bengals division is the hardest division. The Ravens, Browns, Steelers, and Bengals. That division or the division with the Raiders and the Broncos and all them. That's a hard division as well. All right, so I'm going to get which, the Ravens. I'm going to give them 10 to 12 wins. That's fair. Fair. Browns, Jameis, uh, what's his name? Watson's out for six games, I think, six to seven games. So I'm going to give them seven to nine wins. That's not bad, though. Seven to nine wins isn't really that bad. But you just got to win division. So next up, we got the Patriots. I like what they're doing there. I like, what, I like the Patriots, Bill Belichick. I like all them. I just don't think uh, their new quarterback should be able to fill in Tom Brady's shoes. He's pretty good, though. They said he's getting good off-season workouts, which I feel like he should. So I'm going to give Patriots seven to nine wins as well. Not bad. Raiders, dude, this team is scary. Dude, the funny thing is Derek Carr and Adams played together in high school. So I'm going to give the Raiders 10 to 12 wins this year. 10 to 12 wins this year. 10 to 12 wins right this year. Let me know. Comment right now your favorite NFL team. Next up, we got the Texans. Texans, pretty trash team. We're going to give them w one to three wins, if that. Um, and then we got the, I don't know, the Detroit. Detroit got, what, like so many, like 10, draft, 10 picks in the first round. I'm going to give them four to six. I'm going to be offsided this year. The Chiefs, we got Patty Mahomes. We got Travis Kelsey. We got Juju Smith as his top one receiver, but Juju isn't really that good. I don't really like Juju. And he'll, um, I'm going to give... Chiefs. I'm going to go 10 to 12. I'll be nice. 10 to 12 wins. Not bad. Uh, we, next up, we got the Eagles. Eagles just won a Super Bowl and then kind of fell off after that. So I'm going to give Eagles 7 to 9 wins. Not bad. We got the Broncos country. Let's ride. We got Russell Wilson here. I really like... I don't know. The, the, I feel like Russell Wilson will be a good fit there. Will be a good fit with the Broncos. Uh, the, uh, he's kind of got some good people to pass to. He's got a good running back. A decent running back. So, I'm going to give them 7-9 to nine if they stay healthy. Next up, we got my Cincinnati Bengals. Who day, baby? Uh, I've been to a couple training camps. We have been looking pretty good this year. We got a new tight end. We got D we got uh, Higgins. We got Boyd. We got Chase. Hayden Hurst. Joe Mixon. Joe Burrow. We got a good defense. We got Dax Hill. Uh, we got one of the best kickers in the league. Evan McPherson, he made like a 65-yarder at a practice the other, a couple weeks ago. So, I'm going to give them... I'm going to give the Bengals 13 to 14 wins. That's fair, 13 to 14 wins. I mean, I don't really think they're ready for 15 to 17 yet just because they have a hard schedule this year. If they had last year's schedule with this year's team, I would easily say 15 to 17 wins. But comment right now your favorite NFL team and comment your prediction of how many wins your NFL team is going to get this year because I'm curious what you guys think. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. New videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. 
I really did like ranking the uh, NFL teams. I might want to rank the NFL quarterbacks. So if this video gets 20 likes, I will rank all the NFL quarterbacks in the league. I love you all. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Peace.